Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are finally getting started on our handmade custom mask. This is what our mask is going to look like. Uh, I really like this mask pattern. I worked on it really hard. I made several different prototypes before I decided that this was the one. Uh, and there's a couple reasons why I love this mask. This mask has three layers, which is what is the recommendation now. Um, it also has a nose wire. Uh, and it's got customizable ear loop and head loop options. Um, so you can make the mask of your dreams. I want to talk a little bit first about our loops. There are two different ways you can do loops on masks. A lot of the ones you see will go around your ear, like the medical mask that you can buy. I really like this one because it hangs around the back of your neck. Uh, and on the top of your head, so it's not gonna hurt your ears. It's really great if you're wearing a hat or anything else over your head and your ears aren't easy to get to. Um, and I also like it because if you do have to take your mask off for a second, you've got somewhere to hang it. This is what it looks like when it's on. The other reason why I really like this pattern that I made is I made it nice and simple using things that you probably have at home. Uh, the first thing is our elastics are actually a cut up t-shirt. Um, we made a ball of yarn in a previous video out of an old t-shirt, which is really nice and stretchy. Uh, and you've probably already got it at home. Uh, I also made this pattern easy as possible, so with the least amount of sewing possible. Um, and you can print it out on an eight and a half by 11 sheet, uh, which means that Again, this is gonna be something that's pretty easy for you to do. And the last thing is we use a pipe cleaner for our nose wire, because nose wire materials can be hard to come by. So for the fabric for this pattern, you can use um, quilting cotton as your best bet. If you don't have quilting cotton at home, any kind of a woven fabric with a tight weave is usable. What you wanna to do to check to see if your fabric is the right, um, not thickness, but tight enough weave is hold it up to the light. If you can hold it up to the light and really see through it, it's not a good one to choose. You want something that's really tightly woven so that nothing can get through, either in or out. The other thing that you're gonna want uh, is to have two different fabrics if you choose, one for the outside, one for the lining. The lining means the part on the inside. Uh, and then some kind of filter fabric. I was able to buy some polypropylene filter fabric uh, from my local fabric store, but if you can't get your hands on this, um, one of the recommendations is to use a knit fabric, so a stretchy fabric from like a t-shirt or something. So, in addition to your fabric and your pattern, you're also going to need some fabric scissors, pins and needles, or your sewing machine, and some thread. All right, let's get started. All right, so hopefully you have all of your fabric cut out. You've got some scissors, you've got some pins and needles, and later, you've got your elastic -y string. So we don't need our nose bridge um, panel for now. What we're gonna work with are the three big rectangles we cut out. So things get a little hairy here, so please pay attention. The very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place the fabric for the outside, so the biggest rectangle, right side up. That means the side that you wanna showing on the outside is facing up to you. The next thing we're gonna do is take the lining and we're gonna flip it right side down and we're gonna put it on top of the big rectangle. Now, remember those little notches we cut earlier? Okay, there's one up here, one here. That's where you're gonna place your fabric, right in between those notches. This is gonna help us figure out where to place this. All right. And then the last thing we're gonna put on is our interlining sort of like a sandwich we're creating here. All right, there we go. What we need to do now is pin across the top and the bottom. If you haven't watched my basics of sewing video yet, I recommend you do, because in it I tell you how to use straight pins, how many you need or don't need and all about things like seam allowance, which are words we're gonna use right now. Seam allowance is the space between the edge of the fabric and where you're gonna sew. So our seam allowance 
for this project is going to be about one centimeter and that's about three eighths of an inch. All right, and that's about the same width as your finger. And we're gonna sew right across here and right across here. You can hand stitch this if you'd like. I'm gonna use my sewing machine to make it just a little bit stronger uh, and faster. But if you're hand stitching, this is the time to use your best, neatest, smallest stitches. Because you're gonna be wearing this a lot and washing it a lot, you want it to be nice and strong. And the stronger, your, your the smaller and straighter your stitches, the stronger your mask is gonna be. All right, I'm gonna do my sewing and I'll be right back. All right, so it's hard to see because I used white, but I've sewn across the top and across the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do is turn this right side out. So basically you're gonna open it up between the outside and the lining layer and flip it around. And then you'll kind of see how this is gonna start working out. You've got the lining on the inside and the outside fabric on the outside. So you don't need an iron for this project, but it's going to make things a lot nicer to look at and a lot easier. I do want to talk about this polypropylene filter fabric if you are using an iron. This is basically plastic and we know that plastic melts. If you're ironing, you need to use a very, very low setting, no steam, and you just want to have enough heat so that you can press your seams nice and flat. What I recommend you do is practice on a scrap piece of that polypropylene because the first time I tried to iron it, I melted mine. And when I say melted, I don't mean just a little bit, I mean it disappeared, melted. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to iron here and I'm gonna iron here and then I'm gonna come back and show you the next steps. So as you can see, I iron down here, it's super crisp. Now the actually, actually the next couple steps are all ironing. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to press this down there flat, and then we're actually gonna turn it in a little bit and press it again. This is gonna give us a nice neat edge, and we're gonna do that on both sides. The next thing I'm gonna iron is my nose wire channel. This is gonna become that little strip that goes on the inside that we put our pipe cleaner in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron these little edges in and then the both sides. So I have a nice, neat little rectangle. All right, I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back. Okay, I am back from my ironing board. I will show you what I did. So on our main mask, all we've done is folded the sides in right at that line where we had the notch, right where it reaches the lining. And then I fold in a little bit of an edge as well. And then I use my pins. If you need help figuring out the iron, I did a whole video about that. I highly recommend that you use pins to hold all of your stuff so you don't burn your fingers while you're using the iron. The second thing that I did over my iron was worked on my nose bridge channel. Basically what I did is I folded the edge down on the top and pressed it and I folded it to about the middle and then I did the same at the bottom. All right. So it looks like this. I folded up and down, pressed it, and then I folded in the sides. We're gonna put this away for now. We don't need it for a little bit. All right, what we're going to do now is stitch up these sides. Now, this is important. You want to stitch nice and close to this folded edge. What we've created here is a tunnel, a lot like our drawstring bags. You wanna have enough space inside here for our string or our elastic to go through. So you wanna go about a millimeter or an eighth of an inch from that edge. And we're gonna sew all the way up here and all the way up here. All right, I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back. Hey friends, this is such a cool project. YouTube wouldn't let me do it in one video. Check out part two.